just harnessing some type of just unwanted anxiety. I need to talk through the situation with my therapist very, very soon. So I need to go ahead and get on the app and make an appointment. But anywho, I have this cute little area in my kitchen off to the side of my Nespresso. So I pushed my Nespresso up and just created a spot. And I wanted to decorate a cute little spot for when I'm making my coffee in the morning, um, creating my Instagram reels, all of that. So, you know your girl went to the Goodwill Super. Super excited about everything that I picked up. And I also went to Target to get a lamp. But anywho, let's get into the haul. Let's start with Target first. All right, so from Target, I picked up this pleated lampshade. I love how country chic this lampshade is with a really like sleek modern vase. I feel like this would be so cute. It is by um, the brand Threshold and it was only $10. So I plan on putting this on an existing lamp that I purchased. Also from Target. All right, so here is the lamp that I picked up from Target. It is gorgeous as is, and I may leave it like this, but I thought changing out this lampshade for this one would give it a little bit more pizzazz, you know, a little bit more character. So this is going to go in my cute little decorated coffee corner. This was $12, and they have this in other colors as well. I believe they have it in like a natural wood tone. And again, this was $12, this was 10. All right, so hopefully it's not too dark in here. I'm feeling like it's really, really dark, hold on. Okay, Google, turn on kitchen lights. Got it, turning on three lights. Was that, was that better? Okay, Google, kitchen lights 100%. Got it, setting three lights brightness to 100%. Okay, so I don't know if that helped the light, hurt the light, whatever. Let's move on to the items that I picked up from Goodwill. So the first thing that I picked up from Goodwill that I'm super excited about is this item here. These are so gorgeous. When I say this is solid stone, this is solid stone. I believe this is like solid granite. Not sure where the original place came from. Probably something like crate and barrel. This is, I forget the name of it, but it's for, it's like a muddler situation. You can put your avocados and stuff down in here, make salsa, things like that. But I thought this would be a beautiful decor piece. Super, super cute. And this was only $5.09. I mean, get into it. The next thing that I picked up are cookbooks. So I really wanted some cookbooks with a little bit more character, a little bit more pizzazz. I'm probably going to end up taking the covers off of these books because yeah. <laughs> but anywho, I may leave like this cover on and then take this one off. They're both just white underneath. So I'm going to need some type of contrast, but I really wanted some cookbooks in my kitchen. I've had some in the kitchen before, but again, I kept them too close to the stove. So all of the things that I was cooking kind of splashed back onto the books and kind of ruined them. So I've learned and I'm gonna put them a little bit further away. But this one was $2.92 and this one was also $2.92. Next up, I picked up two mugs that I thought were so cute and they fit my current aesthetic. And they are these two mugs here. I love these mugs. I love the shape of them so I can fit a lot of coffee down in them. I love that they are nice and ribbed and I love the big handle on these. 
These um, say JCPenney Home. So they were originally from JCPenney. I got them from $1.09 each. The last two things that I picked up from the Goodwill are going to be photos. So I picked up this cute, look at how cute, vintage photo. Um, this was only $2.09. Hopefully you guys can see that. I really just like the fruit in this one. This reminds me of stuff that they currently have like in Target and things like that, but this is clearly vintage. So I'm not in love with this yellow gold frame. I think I may have some rub and buff that I can put on this frame, or I may just be the original plan, which is just switch it out and put it in this um, frame here. This frame was $2.09. And as you can see, it has a mat in there and it's just blank. So I plan on switching out this photo and popping it in here. We will see. But anywho, girl, that is the vibes for my little cute corner. I was getting a little bit bored with my decor that was on my countertop, so it was falling very, very flat for me. I normally have a little bit more personality. Sun's coming out. But anyways, I normally have a little bit more personality on my countertop, so we're going to be switching that up today. Oh, also, I ran into Home Goods. I told you guys I went into Home Goods originally to look for lamps. They didn't have them, but I ended up getting just some pasta because last night I made my Cajun, uh, my homemade Cajun like Alfredo style sauce and I put it over my baked fish. I've showed you guys that recipe before, but I have a lot of the sauce left and I have some shrimp in the freezer. So I'm probably gonna make some pasta tonight. But anywho, I'm going to just prop you guys up and let you watch me decorate this area. workout in before my son gets off the bus so we are headed to play tennis super excited you guys know how I feel about tennis but I wanted to quickly show you guys my OOTD before heading out so this top is like a cropped like very thin breathable this shirt is amazing I showed you guys this top in my previous vlog this is the top from Halara or Halera I'm still not sure of the pronunciation of that my crossbody bag, this is a genuine leather fanny pack that I picked up from the thrift store. On the bottom, this is some black tights. I don't remember the name. I wanna say, yeah, I'm not sure of the name. This is an Amazon retailer. Love these tights, super, super comfortable. They feel like second skin. And then on the bottom, I just have my old Nikes on. I'm not sure of the name of these. But if any of these items are available, I will link them in the description bar down below. And for these sunglasses, these are old from Shein. I don't think they're no longer on Shein, but they are on Amazon. And I'll have a link for those in the description bar as well. Girl, I'm trying to figure out what like cup I'm about to buy. Because when I went and got my braids done, I left my Stanley at the shop. Now, she told me she put it up for me, but it is like a hike. It's like south atlanta so i don't really feel like driving down there to get it so i really want a hydro jug but i need the instant gratification of having a cup now so i'm trying not to buy two yesterday when i was in target i almost bought the simply modern one um it's only 29.99 i've heard good things but i truly want the hydro jug so i think i'm gonna <laughs> so i think i'm gonna exercise a little bit of discipline and wait and just purchase the hydro jug 
I've heard really, really good things. I heard about Hydro Drug from Juju um, Havens here on YouTube. I absolutely love her and Hunter's channel. One of her homegirls was talking about the Hydro Jug, saying that it is like better than the Stanley. She like turned it upside down, nothing dripped out. It was so, so cute. And then I'm also kind of really warming up to the idea of having the straw to be collapsible. But anyways, that was a whole rant about cups, but you know us, girl, we love, we love our cups. And I am super sad that I don't have anything to drink out of. So I'm gonna quickly grab a water from the fridge and then we are going to head out. Oh, I forgot to show you guys how the thrifted home decor turned out. It is so, so cute. I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you guys what it looks like so far. And then I gotta hurry up because my husband's waiting for me in the car. Hold on. All right, so this is what it's looking like so far. I went in and out of changing things and I think I'm cool with this. So I have my Nespresso machine, a little bit of greenery on the side. I have these oil dispensers, which I have my coffee creamers in and this. So excited, it is so cute. So this is how the corner turned out. I decided to stack these two books on top of each other, just so the faces of them aren't showing, but you can clearly tell that they are cookbooks. And then of course I stacked my two mugs here. This gorgeous, baby, it's giving luxe. And then my cutting board in the back, I did go ahead and change out the lampshade on this one. Best decision ever best $10 I've paid out all month. And then on just this standard base, really, really like the way it turned out. And then as for the picture right now, I just have it hanging against, or like basically on my stove. But I have decided that I really like the way that it looks here. So I'm probably gonna get some command hooks and just kind of mount it up. I went ahead and kept the vintage mat and picture and then I just put it inside of the updated frame and I really really like the way that this looks when I took this image out girl I looked at it it was from 1992 and you know we love a good vintage moment but yeah I'm loving the way it turned out it looks very cozy okay let's go because my husband probably like what is she doing all right let's go <laughs> Also, my nephew is here, my nephew, but it's really like my firstborn. He's here, and so that is why we are making cupcakes to start with. It is a tradition of ours since we, he was like a kid, like maybe Zeke's age or younger. Every time he would spend the night with me, we would make cupcakes, and I am so blessed that at 17 years old, he's about ready to graduate high school, he still wants to make cupcakes with auntie. So I am dog tired. Aunt Flo <laughs> is on her way and she has been dragging me, like dragging me for the last couple of days, but I have to ante it up because my whole house now wants cupcakes, including my husband. So yeah, we are about to head into Target. Hopefully I can make this a quick in and out. I need to get some more Nespresso pods. So I'm gonna grab that. And if you also want some um, 
cinnamon rolls. So, girl, the house in the house with a teenager is a whole experience. But anywho, yes, that's what we are doing right now, girl. I job. <laughs> y'all so i just got out of a nice warm bubble bath and i'm about to get ready to moisturize my skin it is about to be spring and summer and that means we're going to be showing a little bit more skin and so i wanted to find a product that was going to leave me very moisturized but not greasy okay i didn't want to be sitting down <laughs> sticking to furniture and things like that. So that is where today's sponsor comes in. So shout out to Osea for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you are familiar with Osea, it is a brand started by a mother-daughter duo and their products are clean, vegan, and cruelty-free, which is why it's going to give you that beautiful inner glow. So I have two products that I wanna share with you guys today that I really feel like is going to help you get ready for spring and summer. So the first one is going to be this body oil here. This is what the packaging looks like. I really love just the sleekness of this packaging. This body oil has Andaria seaweed in it, which is going to leave your skin very smooth, very nourished, and it's not gonna have that greasy cast on it. I plan on pairing this back also with this product here. This is the Osea body butter with the same active ingredients, but this one also has some shea butter in it. So these two products together, it's going to leave you extremely moisturized and have you with that nice inner glow. So I'm going to be applying a little bit here to my arm for you guys. This product is very thin. However, it packs a powerful punch. So as you can see, look at how moisturized my arm is just by applying a couple drops of the oil. Very, very nice. And look at the difference between this arm and this arm here. Very smooth. I feel instantly moisturized. Again, I am fresh out of the tub, so my skin is really dry. And so this feels amazing. Again, I'm going to be pairing it back with the body butter. This is the consistency of the body butter here. So I'm gonna be pouring, again, applying a little bit here. When you use these two items in conjunction with each other, you really don't need much product. And so I'm just gonna be rubbing that in, girls. It smells so good. It has like this light citrus smell, like, like um, oranges, lemons. It smells really, really good. And again, look at the glow on my arm compared to nothing on this one even like on the backs of my hands here you can really see the difference look at that look at how shiny my hands are it's almost like i put on some cuticle oil but it just feels really really good extremely moisturizing so if you're interested in either of the two products that I have mentioned today, they will be linked in the description bar down below, as well as on the screen with my discount code. I'm telling you girls, these two products are products you want to have in your body care this spring and summer. Once you order it and you try it out, thank me later. 
Hey y'all, happy Monday. So I have a few packages here that I just got from the package room that I need to open up. Also, my hydro jug came in and I could not be more pleased with this item. I love that the top, like I told you guys before earlier in the vlog, is collapsible so you can open it up and then you can close it down this just helps with when you're outside not having any critters kind of falling in especially as we're being out a little bit more i love this beautiful like honey dew color perfect for the spring a perfect replacement for my stanley now i do still love my stanley but i told you guys i left my stanley at the hair shop when i got my hair done and i just have not been back to get it so a second cup will not hurt. Anywho, let's start opening up the packages. First up is going to be Nasty Gal. Now, I often forget that Nasty Gal is a thing until I'm on like an Instagram ad or a Facebook ad or something like that, and they pop up. So what I picked up is two lounge sets. So because I work from home, I do like to just kind of throw on a cute matching set. It's really easy. You don't have to think about it. It's like a one and done. So I picked up two sets. The first set is in this gorgeous red. I have been talking you guys ear off about the color red for probably about three seasons now and it is still going on strong. So this is the top. It's just a really cute kind of boxy oversized crop top. I picked mine up in a size large. I can already tell I'm really gonna love the nice lived in feel to this. This feels really good. I think this is 100% cotton, let's see. No, it's actually 50% cotton, 50% polyester, but it still feels really, really good. And the bottoms are these shorts. I love this kind of A-line style, like baggy short for the spring and summer. Really, really cute. And the best thing about this set is it's only $12. $12.50. <laughs> So if they're still available, I will link them in the description bar down below. I got that same set in a cream. I thought that these would look so cute, like in and out of the house, especially again, as it warms up, you're just kind of lounging if you need to go run your errands. This set will look so cute with my New Balance that I have. So again, same thing, size 10, oversized boxy top. Now let's see, this is a little bit see-through yes it is a little bit see-through which i don't mind because sheer is in so i'll put probably just a little bandeau top underneath and be good to go but again the majority of the time when i'm wearing these it's just going to be around the house i love a cute comfortable set around the house look at the band on that nice thick band which i love when they have these type of bands because it actually helps for a little bit more like tummy support, tummy control. And again, I love the length of this short. Very, very cute. Again, both from Nasty Gal. I'll link those below. Next up, I have a pickup from Target. Now, I've been telling you guys that I have, excuse the sun coming out. I've been telling you guys that I have a spring shoe trend video coming up. So I ordered a few new end pieces to kind of couple with some of the pieces that I already have. These shoes are very, very trendy. And before I spent like any real money on this style shoe, I wanted to get it very inexpensively just to try the trend out. And I love them. And they are these flats here. Now, ballerina flats have been, again, on trend for about two to three seasons. And this was the perfect way to dip my toe into the trend. So this is what they look like. Again, you can see your foot through these shoes. So mesh shoes are trending for the spring and ballet flats are also trending for the spring. So these two are kind of a match made in heaven. What I like about this particular silhouette is it has like more of this almost almond toe, so it's not completely round. So for me, I find that because I have bigger legs, 
a round foot bag makes my legs look like stumpy and bigger versus like a point or a slightly elongated uh, foot makes my legs continue to look a little bit longer, a little bit slimmer. So I really like these. If you're interested, I will link them down below. I believe they're about $25 or so. Hopefully these items are still available. I like to go ahead and show you guys these items as soon as they come in. So if you're interested, you can get them. Um, most of the times, by the time I film like my full fashion videos, the pickings are slim. So if you are interested in these shoes, these are by the brand Wild Fable, make sure that you click the link below. I feel like I should have more packages, but I think some of them are coming in today. I did a quick like sunglass haul from Team U, which I'm excited to get in because I love a nice, chic, timeless, elevated sunglass. I mean, sometimes I like the trendier sunglasses, but I find that I just don't wear those sunglasses as much as I wear my timeless ones. So I did a huge order at Team U for sunglasses and it said that they would be in today. So hopefully I can unbox them with you guys today. But the next thing I picked up is from Amazon. So I showed you guys in my last vlog um, that I have been getting into Gel X Nails. Girl, let me caution you. <laughs> Please do your research before beginning and also don't cut corners. So I'm going to tell you guys what I did so you don't make that mistake. I cut corners with like the, um, the like the hydrator part and it's something that you put on your nails. I didn't know that it served as like a protector for your nails before you put like the glue bond on. So long story short, girl, I was putting the glue bond right on top of my nails. And when I say my real nails are so bad, they are so bad. So I ordered the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. And so I'm going to treat my nails for the next two weeks and try to get them back to their nice, strong, natural state. And then I am going to go back to the Gel X nails because I love them. I, I truly love the way that they look. And I finally found a style that works for me. And it is by this brand here, B Tart. Yeah, I think that's B Tart Box Nails. Again, these are the Gel X Nails here. These are in the French coffin shape. This is the medium, I believe. Yeah, but really, really cute. Very feminine, very just like nice, clean. It's not going to compete with your outfit. So I ordered these and I had this set on um, at some point throughout this vlog. But again, they started to pop off due to me not applying them the correct way. And this is the product that I should have had on my nails prior to putting down the nail bonder or the nail glue. So let me show you guys what it looks like. This is the nail prep. So you have the nail dehydrator, nail prep dehydrator, and the, the acid-free primer. So these are the two things that I was missing. Again, I wanted to cut corners because I originally ordered the gel nail kit and a complete box of gel X nail kit. And so all in all, it was about $65 and I was done. I was like, I don't want to spend any more money, but these two things are a must. So again, screenshot it if you need to. They will also be linked in my Amazon storefront. But again, these are my favorite and I'll be applying these again. I'm going to give my nails about two weeks and then I will apply them. All right. I don't know if I told you, I feel I did tell you guys a few days ago, all last week, my nephew was here. So it was a good, good time. We did a lot of bonding, a lot of chilling. And now my house is empty again. And I kind of miss him <laughs> being in the house. Girl, they grow up so fast. <laughs> Anyways, so with that being said, I wanted to do something nice for my son. So I'm going to be creating him a Easter basket. I started buying things just a little bit at a time when I was in and out of Target or in and out of Dollar Tree. So I'm going to show you guys the items that I picked up for his Easter basket and then maybe do a little montage of me putting the basket together. So for the foundation of the basket, I got both of these baskets from 
um, Target. This one came from the Target dollar spot and it was $5. Just a cute, simple basket, very deep, so I can put all of his items in. And then I also got him this, again, from Target as well. Every year, my mom and I do a Easter egg hunt in her front yard for all of her grandkids. And so he will definitely need a basket for the egg hunt. So I'm probably going to put this one just kind of inside of this to give it a little bit more shape and hold all the items that I have. But again, both of these are from Target. When I was a little girl, my mom would get us Easter baskets, but it's probably stopped at the age of about 11, I think. But I told myself once I started having kids, I would be that parent that gets my kids things for every holiday, no matter their age, it would just look a little different. So anywho, the first thing I got him was a toy. Again, this is from Target as well. This is like a really old school nostalgic toy. It has like this Velcro backing and like a little tennis ball. So you basically just kind of toss the ball back and forth and attempt to catch it. My sister and I used to have a ball with stuff like this and my son likes it as well. So I'm gonna put this in there. All of the other items I believe are all from Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree. There's no shame in my game, especially with things like this. It's like a one-time thing. It's more of the thought that counts. And so Dollar Tree is the place to go. Also Target Dollar Spot, but sometimes Target Dollar Spot's items you can find at Dollar Tree and there'll be more of them and not so run through. So the first thing I got is got him a little plushie. Super, super cute. He kind of got a peek at this stuff because like I said, I've had it for about a week and a half now. And this was the first thing he kind of seen like peeking out of the bag. So he got really excited. So a plushie. Next up, you gotta have your chocolate bunny. So I picked this one up. My son is not a big sweets person. So this is more for aesthetics reasons and mommy will eat it. <laughs> but it is made with Rice Krispies. My favorite chocolate bar is a Kit Kat, though I don't really eat chocolate bars that much. So I feel like this Rice Krispie covered um, bunny is going to be so good and it looks cute. So we'll put that in there. These he will love. I got him some Warheads. He loves sour things. So these are the chewy ones, not the hard ones. So these are cute. And again, they have little bunnies on them, Easter themed. Next up, again, Easter themed. I got him some Airheads, a lot of candy. And again, my son normally doesn't eat candy. So I treat him on days like this it'll be fine. <laughs> the next thing I like to put, so I like to put like food, snacks, um, some type of activity or game that we can do together, like the Velcro ball, and then something that he can do independently. So I love this little wooden egg, again, from the Dollar Tree. So it has its own little stand, but this is wooden. So this is going to be painted by him. So I got this with some paint brushes. So he will be painting that. And then of course I picked up all of the paint from the Dollar Tree as well in primary colors, all but green. I couldn't find green. So I'm gonna go ahead and arrange these cutely into the basket again. I'll let you guys see me put that together. And then after that, I think I need to, go. Well, we need to make some coffee because I've been fasting this morning. So we're gonna make some coffee and then I'll check back in with you guys after that. basket is looking like I thought I was gonna need the smaller basket that he's gonna use for the egg hunt to anchor it but I didn't so I really 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 like the way it turned out so I have his plushie right here at the front he can kind of see his candy peeking out here 
the um, kind of activity set is pushed down in. So some of the stuff he'll kind of have to go like searching for, which I love that for him. We have all four of the paint on the inside and then the Easter egg that he's going to paint in the back. So really, really like this. Super, super cute. And I'm sure my son will like it as well. He um, is going to be on spring break after this week. So at the end of this week, we are going to be going on a little small family vacay. So I will give this to him at the end of the week on Easter. We'll head down to my mom's. And then after that, we'll be headed to um, Chattanooga. Or is it Nashville? No, we'll be heading to Nashville to have like a cute family time. But I thought this was so cute. What y'all think? Oh, and the hydro jug, baby, it eats so good. All right, y'all. So clearly we are in the car. I just got a call from the school nurse that Zeke has like swollen lymph nodes. So I think it is pollen related, though I gave him all of his allergy medicine before he left the house. So I'm going to go ahead and go and pick him up. And I went ahead and made a doctor's appointment for tomorrow. So mom, wife, everything else has to halt and take a back seat. I'm also going to stop by the pharmacy before picking him up, pick up some Benadryl, just in case like it's extremely swollen like starting to close type of thing um his allergies aren't that intense that he has been prescribed an epi pen at this stage but um to be you know precautious i'm definitely going to stop by and get the benadryl and get some tylenol for the pain that he's having or maybe even ibuprofen for the swelling but anywho that's what we are doing right now so i will chat with you guys a little bit later on in the day after I get him and get him settled. All right, y'all. So it's a little bit later on in the day. I am currently in my son's room picking up um, after my nephew kind of straightened back up in here. He is um, asleep in my room. I did feel his lymph nodes. They are very sore. So we definitely will be going to the doctor tomorrow. But I wanted to quickly show you guys that the sunglasses that I ordered from T Move are here. So we're going to try these on together. Now, when it comes to sunglasses, I'm very particular about them because of the shape of my head. I have a really big head. And so when I say big, I mean like the width of my head is large so not all sunglasses fit me well so i have to really pay attention to the width of them so forth and so on so let's see i have this first up is this classic like eight not necessarily aviator it's kind of like a cat eye style i love that it is tortoise i don't have any tortoise shell glasses at the moment i also love that it is like a gradient lens that is brown so let's see okay so off the top i think i like these it's really hard to tell in this camera i'm probably gonna have to go into the bathroom and look but they appear to be um wide enough for my face so I think these may be a go. Let me know, rate these glasses in the comments down below. But again, all of these are gonna be from Timu, very inexpensive. I may have gotten six pair or so for about $20, $25, but this is the first pair. Again, I really like the structure of them. They are very good. They don't feel flimsy. Next up. Oh, this is a little dead. Hold on, let me go get some scissors. All right, so I've already peeked at this box. This box was a set of four. And again, I was really trying to nail down that kind of leopard print brown frame that is really missing in my wardrobe. So of these four, I really just wanted to try out this brown pair here so again very similar to these other than the shape so we have 
the same kind of tortoise shell, not leopard, tortoise shell. And then it also has a tinted lens. This one's more of a darker ombre. This was a little bit lighter. So let's try these on. Okay. These are cute. Still, like I said, I think they're fitting the, the face. Again, let me know what you guys think down below because like I said, this is very difficult to see. I'm gonna try them on in the bathroom after I finish filming this clip. And then I'll probably come back and tell you guys a little bit more of my honest opinion because I'm looking in the um, in my phone right now and I don't think it's giving me an accurate depiction, but I think I like them. I like the overall shape. And so again, this pack came with four in them. So that was the first one. The next one is just a solid black hair. Okay, this is what the black pair look like. Very, very cute. I really like these. These are very like early 90s style. Again, structurally sound, very, very cute. The next pair is like this Lucite brown pair here. Again, very, very cute. Now these are a little bit lighter and I can tell that I think these are fitting my face. So. I think I like these. I think I like them. And again, this entire set, I wanna say this entire set was less than $8. And then lastly, I have this blue set here. You guys know how I feel about blue paired back with brown. I talked to you guys about that in a previous like styling video. Ooh, I like these. Very cute. So these are more, on the trendier side than the classic ones that I just showed you. So I already know these won't get as much wear, but they're very specific. And I do like the tint on the lens. So cute, I like these too. Okay, okay. So <laughs> it sounds weird to say take measurements for sunglasses, but legit, you need to take measurements for your sunglasses as well. Just like any other measurements that you would take for you know, pants, tops, things like that. If you're measuring your bust size, if you're measuring your waist size, you need to know like the size of your head from ear to ear or eye to eye, depending on how you like to wear yours. And then the last pair come in this case here. I think these are like one of the more expensive pair. But again, with that being said, I think they were still only about $8. And I can tell just by looking at these that these are not <laughs> the shape that I was anticipating. So I wanted an aviator, but I wanted it a little bit more like aggressive tortoise aviator. This is what these look like. I wanted them to be a little bit more oversized than this. So let's see. Mm -mm. This ain't it. Okay, this ain't it. I would like for them to be a little bit broader maybe here and then come down and around these are a little bit too narrow and kind of accentuate just how large my head is so i'm still on the hunt for this particular silhouette but if anybody are interested in these i will ship them to you but anywho girl that is it for me today and for this video. If you guys enjoyed this week's video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And if you enjoyed my vibe, make sure you think about hitting that subscribe button before you leave. I am gonna go ahead and tend to my son. Hopefully everything goes well at the doctor's office. I will update you guys in the next vlog. See you guys then. Bye.